week ago I did my first visit to Alton Towers Scarefest 2024 and it's been a massive improvement on 2023. We've seen two new scare mazes along with refresh shows, improved decoration and the event has been running for longer. So here's my review on Alton Towers Scarefest 2024 so far and I hope that I can do another visit. To start off with, night rides are just insane. The park is open until 9pm and for the last two hours there is pretty much no queue so you can get on absolutely loads of rides. Nemesis was insane in the dark with all the permanent lighting and the whole area was just bright red. The soundtrack was really loud and we managed to get back row for one of our rides and that was just absolutely insane. The fact that the park is open till 9pm gives the coaster so much chance to warm up and we were barely slowing down on that layout, getting pulled down every single drop and whipped over every inversion. It was so intense, the whole layout, you just, you, it, it's over really quickly, you don't know what's just happened and it is absolutely insane. Along with the other rides, 13 in the dark would have been absolutely insane but I didn't get to do it. The smile in the dark is very good and Oblivion dropping into a pitch black tunnel that seems like it's going on forever is amazing. Next we have Hex. This would have been included in this review however it broke the night before and we didn't get to do it. So by the time I get to go on that there will be a review video after we've been on it. To start off with the new mazes, Compound was absolutely insane. There's multiple different routes throughout this whole thing. It is filled with actors. The theming is amazing. At one point I was going over a bridge that went over pools of water and there was an actor like crawling on his back towards me. And there was just, at the start you get split up into pods and there was screens and everything. There was smoke everywhere, curtains where actors were coming out. I was even like getting chased with a taser. The storyline is amazing, of course, because it was themed after Nemesis, the Phalanx facility, and they've already built such an amazing storyline with that ride that this, this scare maze was just insane. Now, lots of people did want a Curse of Alton Manor themed scare maze, but personally, I like the Phalanx theme more. There's loads of actors, and it's just, it's so fast paced, it's really intense. I don't recommend it if you're like scared, you don't like getting pushed around. I was chucked out the exit of it. So we also did Altonville Mine Tours, which has been here for a lot of years now. It was very good, but I think it should be replaced next year because it, it's just been there for a long time. And think of the themes we could do for the other rides. We do have a new building that was built, but it wasn't ready in time for Scarefest, so that's near 13. So hopefully next year we might get a 13 theme scare maze and that will be very good. The theming in Altonville Mine Tours was very good, but we queued 45 minutes for it and throughout half of the scare maze there was no actors with a lot of the tunnels where the actors jump out of not being used so I really do think it needs a new refreshed scare maze in that place next year it's cool how it was in the bottom of the towers but it, it was just not enough actors and the theming was quite repetitive it did go on for a while though burial grounds this is a scare zone it was here last year and it has came back the theming is amazing I didn't feel like there was as many actors in it as last year, but it was still amazing and this time we did it at night and the lights were just very good, along with the fire and dark tunnel is very good, but I wish they just had an actor in there. I mean, I don't know how safe it'd be, it's literally a pitch black tunnel filled with smoke, but like if you got grabbed to the side all of a sudden, oh, it, it'd just be amazing, but I know it is a kid's maze. Now, it'd be great if we had two of these scare zones as they're free, and imagine what they could do with another themed one, perhaps like a, a Curse of Alton Manor, because we got Compound, maybe a Curse of Alton Manor scare zone instead, because the, the fact that they're free just makes them even better. Tower Street was decorated absolutely beautifully, along with the lawns, with the entertainment and the stage, but... I feel like the decorations on Tower Street needed to continue throughout the whole park because you could literally just see Tower Street with the new hearse and all the pumpkins and the decorated frogs and the cool lights and flags everywhere. As soon as you got off Tower Street, there was nothing. The shows we have Freaky Friends has been refreshed with two new characters, Zombob and Vampire, and we saw that Sinbin has been upgraded. A lot of this now includes pyrotechnics, lots of fire, and it, the lights on the stage were very good. So this year's Scarefest has been amazing, and it's made a huge improvement on last year. 
we could do with another two new mazes for 2025 and perhaps a scare zone and some more decorations throughout the park. The permanent lighting needs upgraded because we do have them generators. But it's been an amazing scare fest. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and goodbye. Your technology will burn.